Hello there and welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to introduce you the Tangan Market app or the parent app here in Korea. It is a reselling app that you can use for clothing, for like microwaves, for pretty much anything that you can think of. And I've been using it a lot recently and I wanted to make a haul video, but I figured since I couldn't find any information about it in English, this might be helpful to have a separate video just to explain the app and then a separate video at a later point showing all the things that I got from the app. So if you've seen a few of my other videos, I do like to go thrifting a lot, especially to the Arunda Kage or the beautiful store here in Korea. But with the whole virus thing going on, I'm not too concerned about getting it myself. But if I do get it, I don't want to have to be a bad person to tell the government that they now have to quarantine half a million people because I just had to travel all of Seoul in search of a cheap jean jacket. So that's why I switched over to the Tangan Market app to be able to waste my money from the comfort of my own home. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the Tangan Market app is a location-based app, which means that you only get to see the things of the people who live close to you and they get to choose pretty much how far away they are willing to sell things and um, obviously you do have an option of getting something delivered to your house but that is something you have to discuss with the seller individually and it's not something that's really the main focal point of the app. So that's why when you first make an account you do have to verify your neighborhood so that the app knows exactly where you are and which items to show you. So like I've mentioned before, the Tangan Market app does have an English version if your phone is set to English. However, it is, as much things are in Korea, only half in English, even though it is the English version. So you do have to know a little bit of Korean in order to fully navigate the app. And also, obviously, almost all the sellers are also Korean. So um, if you are looking for tags, if you are looking for titles and descriptions, those are going to be all in Korean. So I recommend in that case to download the Papago app. So you can just screenshot it and put it through the translation and it will vaguely tell you what the description is. The way this app works is you have two ways of searching for things. One way is to just go through your feed. It's very similar to an Instagram feed where you can just look through all of the postings uh, based on recency in your neighborhood. There you can also select the different categories that you want to see. So for example, I'm not interested in fridges, so I just remove that. I'm not interested in electronics, so I remove that and I only kept the fashion. And the other way that you can search is to go into the search category and to search for specific words, such as let's say you want to find a Dior bag, you just search for Dior or you want to find shoes, you just search for specific brands or just shoes in general. Those are two options that you have when using the app. And as I mentioned before, pretty much everything is going to be in Korean, even though it does have an English version because the sellers are Korean. So um, I've also put a few fashion words in the description for your opinions. So when you find something that you like, you can either immediately chat with the person to set up a date and to set up an appointment to sell or you can just like an item if you're not too sure if you want to buy it or if you think the price is still a little bit too high if you like a certain item it goes into your list of likes obviously but also what happens is that the second the price of the item gets lowered by the seller you get a notification so for example if there's a bag that costs let's say 20,000, but you think, well, 20,000 is a little bit too much, I don't really need this bag. You can just like the bag, and then when it becomes, let's say, 15,000, you get a notification saying, hey, this the price has gone down, do you want it now, yes or no? And that is a nice way to save a little bit of money. But obviously, you do run into the risk of other people being okay with the 20,000 price tag and buying it before you were able to buy it, but that is obviously a risk you're, you need to be willing to take at that point. One little tip that I have for you is that if you do see something that is marked as reserved is to still try and ask if the item is available because there are definitely times where a sale falls through and people just kind of forget to put it back on um, available so that is something that you can definitely do. And of course obviously you can look into fire to see if they have anything else that you like in their list of things to be sold because obviously people you know have one particular style and if you like one thing that they're selling you might like other things so definitely look at those other options too 
And so, like I mentioned before, if you do like the item, if you do think 20,000 is a reasonable price, you can start a conversation with the uh, seller. And again, it's probably all gonna be in Korean. And I do think that as a foreigner, it is kind of on you if you don't really know Korean to be the person to use a translating app. That is why I've also put in a few sentences in the description of things that you can use to set the date, to ask for more pictures or whatever it may be. And a very convenient thing about this app is that you have in the chatting section of the app, you can add phrases so you don't have to look the phrases up every single time or even if you do know Korean, you don't have to you know, type it out and be worried about spelling mistakes or whatever, you can just go into my phrases and then say, I would just, hey, do you have time tomorrow? Do you have time? Whatever. And it'll just send it for you. And another very convenient thing about this app is that you can ask for pictures. So if they, for example, ask like, can we meet at this specific building? You can just screenshot um, your like Google Maps, Google Maps to say, is this what you mean? Yes or no? And if you have set up a date and time to meet, you can again go into the app, into the chatting function and just put the appointment in there so that both of you don't forget. And so that it's very clear where and when you're going to meet. I obviously do advise you to meet in a public place because these people are strangers. So just meet at like a train station or whatever. One way that you can actually find out whether or not a buyer or a seller is trustworthy is a temperature reading. That is something that the more you sell and the more you buy either one, you every time after you finish your transaction, even if you haven't finished your transaction, you can leave a review and you can leave uh, specific points. You can select like, I think this person was on time. I think this person was um, very polite. The item was as well as it was described and stuff like that. And the more positive reviews you get, obviously the higher your rating will be. Um, for example, I'm currently at 40 degrees Celsius. Everyone starts at 36 degrees Celsius. Um, and so that is a very nice way to be able to see whether or not this person is going to be trustworthy. And in my experience, they all have been, so I think it's fine, but just, just in case. So another thing that you can do, apart from those two ways that I've mentioned before, if you are looking for a specific item, is you can have a keyword alert. So for example, I really like the brand Swarovski. So I have a keyword alert on the app that says that every time someone posts a new Swarovski item, it sends my phone a notification so that they can look at it and be like the first to immediately see that one and decide whether or not I like it, whether or not I want to part it or immediately buy it or just nothing at all. So obviously another thing that you can do with this reselling app is to sell your clothing and sell all of your other items. You just have to select your category. You can put up to 10 pictures in there. Uh, you can select how far away you are willing to go. So you can select eight neighborhoods, 12 neighborhoods, 16 neighborhoods, I believe. So if you're willing to travel quite far to sell your things, you can just put that. And if you're not willing to travel far, you can just put that. You can also obviously put it in the description of every single item that you have, that these are the only places I'm willing to meet. And some people also say that, you know, if you want to, if you want me to send the item, that's fine, but that's going to be like 3,000, 4,000 extra because of the shipping cost. And yeah, and again, you should be willing to put everything in Korean because most of the people who use this app are Korean, so putting it in English is kind of, but you can definitely put in like, hey, I'm a foreigner, my Korean isn't very good, so that they know in advance what they're getting into. So one other thing that the app does is that if you do have your item for a little bit longer, for let's say for a week and it hasn't been sold, it will give you a notification to ask you like, hey, are you sure you don't want to lower the price? Because if you lower the price, it's going to get on the feed again with the lower price. So that's why I've seen while scrolling through the feed, I have seen the same item a few times that I've seen before because they lowered the price and that bumps your item back to the top of your feed. You obviously don't have to do that, but that is definitely something the app tells you like, hey, do you want to lower the price? And the last thing that you can actually do with the app that I tried actually once before is that the app has its own like reselling account where it has different deals such as Starbucks or Macaulay's Coffee. I've seen Chosen Place and different like, coffee chains that have these events where you can 
get an extra coffee or get a coffee for like half the price if you use the Tangan Market app and then you can enjoy your ice Americano for like half the price which is always nice and yeah that is pretty much all I have to say about the app if you have any questions or you need me to translate something please leave a comment down below and I will try to answer as quickly as I can. So like I said before, I will put some like categories, some fashion related words and some selling related uh, sentences in the description. So please look at those if you need to. And if not, happy shopping. Bye.